Hey everybody, CPAP Gentleman here, and today we'll be discussing three different types of therapies. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Dun, 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 dun. For those of you who at one point or another have taken a CPR course, you probably learned about the ABCs of basic cardiac life support. ABC, of course, meaning airway, breathing, circulation. Although they did change that recently to CAB, circulation, airway, breathing, because the experts deem that circulating already oxygenated blood throughout the body increased the chances of survival for someone experiencing heart attack. I think I'm really getting off topic here. What was this video about again? Anyway, those abbreviations are worthy noting because I'll be going through the ABCs, or rather CABs, of positive airway pressure therapy, PAP for short. Why CAB? Well, it's a good way to remember the natural order of progression for advancing levels of therapy. CPAP, APAP, BPAP. Let's start with CPAP. Remember, it stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. This basically means that the pressure is constant and doesn't change. It's set to a specific level and stays there. This type of therapy effectively treats a large number of people, and it's what most doctors tend to prescribe. So let's look at APAP. APAP stands for Automatic Positive Airway Pressure. This type of machine is usually given to women because they're not able to drive manual. In all seriousness though, APAP machines automatically regulate air pressure within a set range. They're typically prescribed to anyone for the following reasons. One, you require high air pressures for optimal therapy, and you're having difficulty tolerating this using a straight pressure CPAP machine. Two, the amount of air pressure you need varies significantly based on the position you sleep in. On your back, your pressure may increase, while on your side, it may back off a little. And then you've got BPAP, which stands for bi-level positive airway pressure. Unlike CPAP and APAP, which operate at the same pressure for both inhalation and exhalation, BPAP operates at a higher set pressure when you inhale and a lower set pressure when you exhale. These machines are often prescribed when you have central sleep apnea, or a mix of both obstructive and central apneas. If you require extremely high CPAP pressures, you may get one of these too. They're also the most complex, sort of like the female species. And that pretty much covers the three major types of PAP therapies. Thanks guys for watching, and if you liked it, please hit that subscribe button so you can see more of this. My face. <sighs> CPAP gentlemen, out!